Hey guys, Paul Shirey here with. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's me. Hey guys, Paul Shirey here at Jobo.com, joined with Sean Wist. Uh, we just got Hello. to the WB panel, um, and we are going to jump into all the things we saw. And I know there's plenty of things that you guys actually really want to hear about, so let's get into it. Um, yeah. First thing it started off with was uh, Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk. Uh, Nolan actually came out, took the stage, um, and again, he, he's very much a champion for the theatrical experience and, and you know, oh, he voiced, loves it. voiced as much, you know, hey, you know, the only reason I'm here yeah, is for exactly. theatrical exhibition. <laughs> then he went, out, uh, went on to uh, show the same IMAX clip that... Yeah, that he uh, called it like a prologue, even though it's, it's not quite a prologue and it's not quite a yeah, short film, he called it that too. It's just, it's just kind of an assembly of scenes from the yeah. film that kind of give you the, the vibe it's a warm -up. of Dunkirk. Yeah, yeah exactly. So anyways, <laughs> if you've seen the IMAX preview already, then you have a very good idea of what he showed. Um, if you're excited for the film uh, as a result of that, or just because Christopher Nolan's directing another movie, which is understandable, then there you have it. There really wasn't much more said, so Dunkirk. Dunkirk. S still on the way. We're done, <laughs> Kirk. Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, they uh, talked about the horror slate. Yeah, we got a couple horror, horror movies. There was Annabelle. Annabelle uh, Creation. Creation. So I, I think that's the first time I saw that. I don't think that was has I, been out there. So if that's news, that? there's some news. Annabelle. From the director of Lights Out. The Creation. You know. The Creation. The Creation. The Creation. It's the Annabelle movie, the creepy little doll. You From know, uh, know David F. Sandberg, who did Lights Out. Um, yeah. Which I still haven't seen, and it's uh, not because I don't think it looks good. Um, He's just afraid. I don't when the lights really. Are out. <laughs> supernatural horror movies <laughs> fuck me up. Um, they just mess with my head, so I tend to avoid them. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's just not really. I, I absolutely appreciate them, and many times when I see them, I love them. But yeah, so a lot of yeah. times I just I, I don't need this. this. They stress me out, man. Right. And with that, they also showed it. They kind of cut back and forth, a little behind the yeah. scenes, and a little looks like trailer footage from it, yeah. which looked uh, pretty creepy. You know, if you've seen the trailer, you got a pretty good idea. Yeah, the trailer came out today, I believe, uh, and it looks, for me, I think it looks amazing. I think it just looks really, really cool and creepy, and damn, yeah. I mean, Pennywise oh. just looks great. He looks awesome. For all you kids digging the Stranger Things that's going around these days, it's very much in that vibe, even though uh, obviously it was way before, but you got a group of kids, you got some really freaky shit going on. Yeah. And, and they're trying to deal with it. This is like the OG Stranger Things. Because when I saw Stranger Things, which I love, by the way, uh, I one of my comparisons was like John Carpenter meets uh, Stephen, Stephen King. King meets Steven Spielberg. It's like kind of a, Except a mixture not of as great. <laughs> Except not as great. <laughs> uh, That's I'm, right. I'm really excited to see. Uh, I'm really excited to see it. Just to, I mean, just for the Pennywise scenes alone, that's like it looks pretty good. Because I, I mean, Tim Curry, that. hard dude to top, but that that looked pretty freaky yeah. what I saw. So yeah. so Bill Skarsgård looks like he really. <laughs> it's creepy looks fucked up. <laughs> Props to you, Bill. Next up, uh, for those of you that need your fatal attraction fit for the year, uh, Unforgettable with Katherine Heigl, Rosario Dawson. I mean, it looks almost exactly like fatal attraction. <laughs> it is fatal it is, attraction. It's basically it's fatal attraction. You know. You know. If you jealousy. hate Katherine Heigl, you'll love to fucking hate watch this movie. Sex like, just and jealousy. Watch and, and be like, oh, that bitch. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're not a Katherine Heigl fan, she's playing a very mean, evil. Yeah, she's she's not evil nice. Woman. Unforgettable. <laughs> Unforgettable. <laughs> we saw the trailer for Everything Everything, which I believe is the same one that's already out. I honestly don't know. I'm just not in the demographic. I understand what my job is. Looks like an, I another young adult have things novel that I'm, turned movie. I'm more preferable to and With teen romance. And yeah, stupid. I mean for you, for the the teenage tween age crowd, uh, everything everything is going to be everything for you. You will get laid or at least a handy or it's a blowy a good, it's a if good you take date. your girl to see that on a date night. Good lord. Or, or guy. Maybe you'll just hold hands. <laughs> Grow up, Paul. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bastards. That, I know that's what you're thinking of us right now, but no, it's a film it coming from the DP of the Hangover trilogy, which is fitting because the movie looks like a Hangover-esque movie with it Ed does. Helms and Owen Wilson. They're trying to find their dad, R-rated. I want to say yeah. like, oh, it's just like this and that, and it kind of, you know, it's like a standard, you know, raunchy R-rated comedy, but that's yeah. not necessarily a bad thing. And uh, the if, scenes if you like with, those guys, you the know. scenes with J.K. Simmons, J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons is gold. Like, put him in everything. I mean, we've seen him a lot. Like, unhinged you know? J.K. Simmons yelling, swearing, and getting in people's faces. That's what you want. He's kind of made a career of it, and... I mean, just watch Whiplash again. That. But, like, if you need a little bit 
more or something different, then bastards might be your thing. Uh, yeah, we, we got a extended uh, red band peak look trailer for The House with Will Ferrell and Amy Poehler. Um, and I got to admit, uh, it, the trailer that I saw before, I was like, eh. I was kind of meh, but this uh, red band. The red one, band did it, yeah. Uh, actually, I was laughing uh, kind of hysterically. Um, it was a, you've already seen the the part where they catch the guy cheating uh, in the casino, and they're like they're threatening. With him they're like, we're and gonna stuff. threaten you. We're gonna kick your ass. But they're obviously not. You know, they're not casino. I.e., yeah, they're Scorsese just, casino level. They're soccer massive. parents. They're soccer you know. moms and dads, but. Basically, things start to go wrong. Yeah, in a very uh, messy way. And I'm just way. gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it. Spoilers. Because it's pretty funny. For the so house. Spoilers, 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 <laughs> spoilers. You've been warned. <laughs> so they end up chopping off the guy's uh, middle finger on accident, and the blood is just like pouring out. And Will Ferrell's down amount. in front of it, and the blood is just covering. He's it. He's taking like, it like a reluctant porn star. <laughs> Try to use a croc shoe to stop the blood. I mean, it's just ridiculous shit, but. I mean, yeah. I was laughing continuously. So. I mean, if, odds are, if you like the two leads, it, it might be, you know, pretty good. And Rafi from the league is in there. I forgot his the dude's name. Sorry, he's always going to be Rafi for for He'll me. Always be Rafi. He's uh, it looks Rafi. funny though. I, I I think the house. I'm, I mean, that's I'm potential. A, uh, next up is King Arthur. We got kind of a uh, yeah, everything was an extended tonight. An extended look, extended trailers. Um, I th I know people are kind of divided on King Arthur uh, with Charlie Hunnam, but for me, like Guy Ritchie is is a good sell. I. I don't know that King Arthur is going to be great. It may well not be, but I'm a Guy Ritchie fan. I'm an easy sucker for Guy Ritchie, so uh, I'm definitely going to see King Arthur. Um, I think, I it, think if, it looks cool. It looks. It fun. falls in line with kind of like the Sherlock Holmes movies. Yeah, like absolutely. if you kind of like, he just absolutely. kind of throws whatever at the wall, and some of it sticks. You know, so it could be fun, but it also could be a mess. Yeah, you know, it so. might be a mess. We'll <laughs> it see. very well it, might be, but you know, I don't know. I could think, be a fun uh, mess. A fun yeah. mess. A fun mess. King Arthur could be a fun mess. Next oh. up comes uh, Geostorm, the weather as a weapon movie from uh, Dean Devlin. Yeah, his debut, right? Uh, directorial. Yeah, debut, direc de uh, directorial debut. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, Gerard Butler, uh, perfect. Like a <laughs> groundbreaking role for Gerard as, Butler yeah, know, playing right? something completely They're like It's almost different. like starring Gerard Butler, like, of course. Yeah, like course. this is like the trailer you saw at the beginning of Tropic Thunder. This is exactly <laughs> it. <laughs> I should just like hate Geostorm. I should be like, this just looks like garbage, but it looks really fun. It, looks it knows like what it is. It's a like, big disaster. It's epic. a disaster movie. And they're like, know. I think it's actually kind of clever that they're taking like the future element and they're like, weather is controlled by satellites. <laughs> it's ridiculously stupid. And somebody uses that fun. as a weapon to. And Kill you know, there's all. there's scenes where they actually fly up to space, so there's actually a little more going on with it than just yeah. the standard. Hey, we're just gonna stand here and react to shit. Going it's basically it. Devlin took like all of Emmerich's movies and like combined it into one. Yeah. It's a blender. It's a Excellent. it's an Emmerich blender movie, but it looks fun. I'm I'm game. A fun mess. <laughs> Another fun mess. <laughs> uh, next up, we saw a uh, a featurette for Blade Runner. We saw the actual the new trailer for Blade Runner 2049 at the Sony presentation. Um, and I guess they're sharing the wealth here since it's co-production. And WB showed an extended, uh, like kind of behind the scenes, behind the yeah, scenes. feature. It. It's it looks cool. A lot of cool behind the scenes stuff. Scene, uh, scenes you don't see in the trailer. Um, for example, I think I saw Harrison Ford in a different shirt or a jacket. Yeah, different. Yeah. So, so he's definitely not in just one <laughs> scene. He's that's definitely going to be in multiple scenes. A couple uh, scenes in there. Uh, but yeah, it looks, I mean, we just got a, a really deeper look into it. They had Ridley Scott talking. They had, uh, Denny Villeneuve, uh, was, Villeneuve. Uh, took the stage to talk for a little bit about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they had a lot of people come up on stage, but honestly it was like kind of on and off very quickly. Nobody yeah. really got a chance to say anything of substance, but the featurette was great. Harrison Ford was talking about how, you know, exciting it is to come back to the Blade Runner universe. And all the excitement he can muster at this day and age, <laughs> as you can uh, imagine. And he said, you know, it's like he fun. See, he seemed genuine. It's yeah. fun to come back, you know, to play a character 30 years later, you know, see if the clothes still fit. The music sounds great. It sounds very much like that blend of what Vangelis did for the first Blade yeah, Runner. Yeah, and they, they used some of that, but there was, there was also more, yeah. kind of like what you hear in the trailer. So it... They're really like leaning heavily on the music and that atmosphere, you know, to help create Blade Runner. So it, it sounds like that's where they're headed, you know, yeah. with this one, which is awesome, of course. And yeah, and, and it really, the whole movie, I will say, like, based on this the new trailer and this feature that I've seen, uh, has really sold me even more Blade Runner 2049 as being something really special. And the other thing that I noticed too is that the special effects that you see in the trailer and everything. They absolutely, they measure up to Blade Runner in 1982, and I think that just speaks more as a testament to Ridley's original film because 
it it loses nothing. Yeah, because they showed scenes tiny. like one after the other, the original and the new one, and they they just both look amazing. Yeah, and there was know? a couple times I was like, is that was that the original or is yeah. that the? I mean, that's a pretty. I mean, that's a fucking. That says that's a, a lot, gold man. star for Ridley, this... man. Like, that's a hell of a thing to have. Uh, next up, they uh, jumped into the the Lego world. Yeah, uh, I'm yeah. a huge Lego fan of the actual construction sets and the films. Um, and then they kind of did like a little sizzle introduction and yeah, up, they're pushing the Lego universe. Up flashes up and says, we are building a cinematic universe. So, I mean, take that for what it is. Uh, I mean, it's kind of obvious. Yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah. Um, but Lego movie is a hit. They're like, go, go, go. Yeah. Like, and, and I don't think they'll stop, stop, stop until fucking there's no more money. There's no more money. Uh, so, but anyways, yeah. we saw uh, another extended uh, preview of the Lego Ninjago movie. Um, they Dove a little bit into like just like a, a, a how Lloyd and his, uh, Lloyd's mom and dad met Gar mm -hmm. Garganon. Gar I always forget his. his <laughs> I wanted favorite. to say Gargamel, but that's not right. <laughs> Garganon. <laughs> um, Gar I think it's Garganon or something like that. Garganon. Um, the main. The main. Bad yeah, guy. Ganon. It's just. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what his name is. <laughs> the bad guy. He's a fucking bad anyway, guy. He's got four arms. The, Goro. The Goro. <laughs> <laughs> He's got multiple lines. It's <laughs> I mean, if you like the the Lego style, that which is basically like your in humor, you know, the kind of pop culture. References yeah, very self aware. And and yeah, very self aware. Uh, Lego Ninjago is absolutely just the next chapter in that, and it's very different from. If you ever seen the animated series, uh, total very different vibe. I have that. not. So, but it's this very much more. This definitely like, falls in line with the, of course, previous two Lego movies. You know, just more kung fu, I assume. Yeah. It looks good. I'll be there. I'll see it. Okay, so that's the main stuff we saw from the WB pre uh, presentation. We're going to jump into uh, another video to talk about the DC stuff because there's just a whole bunch yeah, there. Yeah, so if you want to hear those goods, check that. Check out that video. Yeah. So check out all the videos. You should be watching all of them. You love it. it all. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the, the main front portion of the WB uh, presentation. We're going to jump into DC in the next video. So we'll see catch you there. You're still here. It's over. Go home. You expect him, Sam Jackson, show up with an eye patch and a saucy little leather number? Go.